Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Two Point Hospital. When we last left off, we finished up the beast that was Blighton Hospital. It was uh, not fun. It took a lot to record, a lot of time to just sit and wait for the bars to fill, but that's three stars for you. Anyway, today we're jumping back in. I think we're moving to the city, so without further ado, let's jump back in. Fuck you, Blighton. I hope to never come to these coastal... Anyway, I hope to never come back here to these coastal things. Um, hopefully it's much cooler in the city. Hopefully, hopefully it's, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm hoping for. The good thing about sitting there and waiting, though, is that, um, you do get a lot of research done, which I did do a lot of research, so. Anyway, we're going to Rotting Hill. I'm sure this will be fun. Let's take over this failing inner city hospital and turn it around. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, wow, it's already got shit. Rotting Hill Hospital has been on its last leg for a while, thanks in part to the ruthless business practices of Jumbo Healthcare. It's out of cash, reputation is poor, and it smells faintly of cabbage. Brian W. Foster? Is that you? Uh... <laughs> Mayor Winsock and the Health Ministry have made the tough decision to transfer ownership from the Two Point Health Service over to our organization. We'll need a loan if we want to turn this place around. Ooh. Okay, well... Do we have it? Let's look at our staff. What do we got? We have a doctor. It's not trained in anything. But that's okay. We'll set him as a GP. We have a nurse. Also not trained in anything. Uh, what nurse rooms do we have? We have a few. We have a pharmacy. We have a huge general diagnostics and a small ward. Um, we can't hire anybody quite yet. Uh, this is good. Let's go ahead and take out our loan. Uh, let's hire you. It's weird. Um, uh, do we have an assistant? We do. And a janitor? We do not. Um, we want a ghost. Purr. Switch hitter? Oh, switch hitter. Nice. Um, I don't really want to make people bored. This one's okay. A little expensive, but I think we'll get there. Um, okay. Ooh, nope. Nope. Ugh. Okay. Um. This is our staff room? What the heck is going on here? Maybe you need two janitors. Oh, these aren't great. Um. <clears throat> I'm sorry, janitor. You're about to get real busy. Oh, we have a psychiatry too. We're gonna close that. And let's go ahead and, uh, let's set our nurse's jobs. We did you already, right? Yeah, okay, nurse. We're gonna have you do diagnostic rooms. And then we'll have you do the ward pharmacy for now. All right, everybody, get to work. Our assistant is doing their job. We will definitely rearrange almost all of this as we get some money. Another nurse, another janitor, and another doctor. Like how the, the DMV look of this hospital. So we're in the city. Also, I was looking... I had a lot of time to just like look at items. Some of these do more than just comfort, right? No, I'm just wrong. I kind of want to go with a futuristic look since we're in the big city. Or maybe like a... Hmm. Do we have a new one? I don't think we do. We do have some kudosh. Increases chaos. No thanks. Increases health. Hmm. That's not too bad. Oh, I need to look at... It's frigid. I need to buy some heaters, so let's go ahead and do that. Oops. 
I don't know if we'll keep any of those rooms, but just in case. Uh, got a new disease already. Moving in a grooving. Okay. Um, let's also get... I didn't mean to upgrade that, but okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I could actually cancel that. And we will want to do this. I don't know if there's a benefit to getting these trash cans. Over these. Attractive and hygienic manner. Okay, well, maybe. And don't worry, janitor, I will be hiring somebody as soon as I find somebody good. Let's see. What kind of rooms do we have? 23,000. If we sell this... We can't really afford training, though. I mean, we're definitely going to reduce this down. Oh, shoot. Freaking... They have just let this place go, eh? Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Oh, we have a snack machine? Yeah. Um let's go ahead and sell that. Get a better snack machine. Reduces hunger, increases thirst, reduces toilet need. Um Hunger and boredom. And then Hunger. Oh, I didn't realize these are all snack machines. I didn't put any drink machines in my last hospital. Uh -huh. Whoops. Uh, I shouldn't be using this one then. I should be using this one. So those are really expensive, so I should be careful. But it does help because um, they get a lot of money, so... Definitely want to upgrade when you can. Do I have this one, this one, and this one's pretty good. I actually think I will move this here. And then move this down too. Um, I think I'll sell this bin and get the better one. Like that. Already seems to have stuff in it for some reason. Um, we'll get rid of that one. Just, just bins in all these rooms. <clears throat> so far, so good. Um, get rid of that one. <laughs> um, Um, increases thirst, reduces toilet need. That's a pretty good one, and then we'll get... This one, I think. It's fine. Okay, that's enough of spending that money. Yeah, I think I do want to sell this. And get a training room. I know. Trust me, I know. But it's it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna sell some stuff that we don't need. Just one bench at a time. Although I do like this. I do like the like crooked bench design. Oh, Wow, these janitors suck. Don't really need that. I don't need that. Where is our lovely janitor? What are they doing right now? Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's the problem with doing an upgrade. Did I not put a... Sure didn't. Whoops. Just need a little bit of money there. 
just a little bit more. If somebody could buy something, that would be great. Somebody at the vending machine would be ideal. Uh, another person at the vending machine, please. Okay, and then we want to also make sure that we set our policies. I'm going to set this down to 80 for now. Um, staff training messages, no. Uh, promote staff automatically, yes. Um, then we'll reduce this by half. Never seem to have a problem with staff well-being. Um, okay. And get us a janitor. Definitely don't need that doctor or this nurse. Hey Denise, I just want you to know that you're doing a swell job. Uh, thank you for coming into what was probably your worst job ever. I know. Here. Not ready for a challenge. Okay, I haven't even looked at our star things yet. This is kind of typical of the first episode for the hospital. Alright, reputation of 70%. Shouldn't be, be too hard. Hospital value of a million at the beginning is a little much, but... Gear 100 patient. Patients. Also, am I low enough to train? No. Because it has to be... 10,000 plus... So it's 15,000. Okay. I'd like to train our GP ASAP. If I could... Probably could if I reduce down this toilet. Hold on. Let's edit this real quick. Did this wrong? Hold on. Beauty of this hospital, though, is that um, the staff do not have to maintenance the freaking heaters. It's a good day. This is going to help us a lot in the beginning, too, these really expensive vending machines, because um, people like to... What is your... Weak, bladder, and lazy. Okay, well, maybe we should hire a new assistant. I'm going to go ahead and let you work in the ward, too. Just because it is half diagnostics. Um, well, we'll see. Um, let's see if I can hire that assistant. Fire you. Just because you used to work here doesn't mean you're going to continue working here. You got it? <clears throat> we are, we're in the city now. We don't need fish tanks. Maybe we should use... Oh, these are just so easy. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're easy. Can somebody go to the pharmacy real quick? I'll keep keep an eye on nurses so we can replace what we have just because I have a feeling we're gonna need to. Our money's getting low, no shit. In this economy? <laughs> um what do we want to decorate with? I wish, like, it would show you, like, the radius. Like, I know this one has a pretty big radius, which, which is why I use it so often. Just 
Just a couple purchases that yield vending machine. There we go. Now it's a hallway. Man, after sitting there and micromanaging a giant hospital, I know I say this every time, and I know this will eventually grow to be that. I kind of like the way I do it though, because like if I went back in the middle of a hospital and had to like remember everything that was going on to get to the next star, it would not go well. I don't think this is the intended way to play this game, but I feel like this is easier, at least for my brain. Because like if I went back and looked at like the first hospitals we did in this game, I would not remember them. I would not remember them a even a little. So, oh. I don't have money. Okay. Oh. Maybe I can, like, expand this out. You know? And if you give it a better radius. Only so much I can do. Hey, wait, we have money. Um... Let's edit this room. Put some decorations in here. Close. One more tree. I think we can get it with one more tree. We put it like... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, can we get another janitor? Ooh, a ward nurse. Ooh, good ward nurse. Uh, can I get him now? No, I can't. Oh, I can hire that nurse. Okay. And then we will put you in the ward. Then kick you and you out. Yep. And then that's where we're gonna be for now. Uh, pretty same salary too. Just the onboarding cost. Well, he probably needs some training. Whenever we get one. Oh, I don't have any janitors that can... Oh! She... Denise! You are my hero. Hero? My hero. My hero. Denise Mewling, saving the day every day. I want to get her some help. Kind of want to do training first, though, because we need to train you in pharmacy. Um, oh, okay, and we still have enough... It was like two seconds, sh two, two milliseconds short of hitting pause on that. <sighs> Nurse Eugene, how are you doing? Seems like you're loving your job, loving your life. I think we can get you another bed at one point. But for now, you seem happy. Really, honestly, these vending machines are what's saving us right now. <laughs> So can I just say not having the epidemics every five minutes is so nice. I like tanked my rep in that lot in Blighton because I just kept canceling the uh, epidemics because they take so much time because you have to pause and like actually pay attention because once your hospital gets to a certain size, then immediately like 20 people get infected and it was either waste more than three hours sitting there trying to do like the 15 or so epidemics that came in or just like move on. <laughs> and I did, I moved on. And it worked out in the end. I don't think the epidemics and reputation was ever a part of it anyway, so. All right, GP is trained up and back in the, the office. That's good. I wonder, does this tell me, oh, they got cured. If they're in for diagnostics, chance of cure. Hmm. What are you doing over here, buddy? I guess that's a place to sit there for that. Um, 
can't train anybody. You don't really need to hire anybody as of yet. Probably need to look into getting a GP soon. I do want to start replacing some of our rooms. I don't even like them sitting over here. I'm just going to get rid of these benches. Like that's a... What is this? Oh, that's cute. I'm going to move that. Oh, are you looking at that? That's really cute. Um, what if I put it somewhere other than where it's at? I'm gonna do that. Oh, Denise, thank you. I am gonna eventually get rid of those so you don't have to worry about them, but I appreciate your, um, your, well, job you do good you work good does this have a heater in it it doesn't hey look we suddenly have money um let's do a little bit of editing on this because this is great and all but it's not gonna stay this big there's no way This is about the size I like my staff rooms. Also, this is like more than enough seating for them, so. And then I want to keep these vending machines, I think. Um, go in there. Let's put the door in. Don't want that, don't want that. Don't need that, don't need that. We'll get a smaller, and then maybe a trash can. You know what? What if we did... Yeah, I like this better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Put that there, because I want to have... That's kind of the place to put that. Okay, um, the bookshelf. So close. No cigar. Okay, um, maybe a beanbag. Just thinking this could be like a cozy little corner. I think this will fit here. I think it will. I just believe hard enough. I'll just sit there. But who wants to sit next to the trash can? I was just thinking it would be nice to sit like in front of the window. But this is what I'm thinking. I move these down, right? Like this. I move this down. And then I move this to this corner so nobody's sitting by it. And now you get a window seat. Nice. Um. Nothing to like do in here, which is a problem. Or eat. This is a snack machine, right? Oh, let's get one of these rugs in here. Yeah. Should get a fish tank. That seems silly. Let's get clock for sure and then just like a ring for them to ponder their existence mm, it's not entertainment ah that's cute I wish they had smaller oh they do get an arcade machine oh it's not actually that small actually it'll fit in here I just gotta move this Out there. Beanbag, come back! 
Okay. Also, I really enjoy, like, the room building in this game, but, like, you spend so much of your time, like, rearranging, or just, like, throwing in pre-made stuff, that it's kind of sad. Um, I am just gonna sell this and get a pre-made one. I know I immediately just went back on what I said, but... And I know we have to upgrade this again, but it's fine. Oh, and I think I will sell this and get like a normal size bin. This helps though, which is why we did that. Um, how much is the pharmacy? Yeah, let's do pharmacy too. Like, I, I immediately lost the pharmacy. I know there's a reason I have it in the middle of the room, but I refuse. <laughs> refuse! There we go. I mean, it does mean I have to upgrade these again, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> ooh, psychiatry. Um, how much is mine? I can build one. You don't have a doctor in psychiatry, though. <clears throat> we can hire uh, Dirk Biscotti. Um, but we'll have to train him. So we'll have to wait. We'll just go ahead and send him home. We knew the psychiatrist was coming, though. We knew this. <clears throat> what does our building options look like? This taxi lot, this abandoned playground, this construction site, these apartments. Yeah, just kick the people out of their homes. No, oh, great. Should I just go ahead and hire Dirk? Maybe there's a psychiatrist right here! Uh, no. That's not a psychiatrist. I think I will hire Dirk. Just take away his privileges. Um... Can we take out another loan yet? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, let's train up Dirk. And then let's also get us a psychiatry. Oh, frick, they're back. <clears throat> I don't know if that's like, like an update in the game or if that's like just progression in the game, but I really hate it. I'm gonna lie. I have to move this. I don't even know if I really like that, but it's what it is right now. This has a heater in it. Most of my my tablets have heaters, so kind of good on that front. Ooh, I kind of like this. You have really wide hallways. It's a good way to make more space. Um, let's look at this. You are good. Okay. Um, we're getting psychiatry. What else do we need? Let's see what we got for our first year. Hey, that's not bad. Most prestigious employer of the year and rising star is Denise. Yeah, that. Yeah, I agree with that one. Oh shit! I forgot there was an epidemic. Oh god, that was almost bad, guys. Luckily, it is a small hospital. I just need to make sure. I, I don't even know where people leave from. I just saw one. Okay, they come in that way. I don't know if they also leave that way. 
Also, if everybody comes in that door, then why am I set up with this door? There's one more somewhere. Uh, ah, okay, um, I think I have to take let's see. Stuff automatically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have suddenly a lot of money. Um, let's replace this then. I love how my GP's office is named New Template. That's just funny. I don't know what I'm doing with this bench. Let's get some items in here. gonna have to move eventually. But for now, we shall leave it. Uh, nurses. Okay. Kind of see what we need. Um, let's look at our allowance. Keep an eye on that, because... Oh, well, we want to get rid of some of those when we can. I think I might move the bathroom into the middle so that we can have a wider hallway back here. Um, what I might do is just move this for now. Let's fix this. Let's upgrade these. That's a good idea. That's a pretty good idea. Thinking. Got so many people in here. I think I move the ward here, like face that way maybe, and then put the door on the ends. And then I can move the bathroom and the staff room in the middle. Although I like that staff room space there. But I think the bathroom in the middle is a good idea, and then something else. I want to try to get another training in before we lose all this money, if I can. Um, let me put in another trash can. Just general, general trash can. Come on, Dirk. Um. Okay. Doing it. We're doing it. Uh, Dirk? Oh, that's the trainer. I thought that was Dirk. Dirk's over here doing his job. Look at this nice, fancy room. Didn't she, she would've come in here? Also, look at this. They can play Sonic. They can get a cake pop. Nice. Oh, you know what we should do is get Denise some help. Huh. Tired. Denise desperately needs some help. Ugh. Not desperately. She's amazing. She doesn't actually need anybody's help, but I, w I want to get her some help, you know? I'm also going to pick these up and move them to this side of the hospital since this is kind of where our peoples are. And then it would just make sense to put this here, I think. Although I think I'm moving this, but that's not the point. <laughs> I think this is how I wide I want to leave this the uh, alleyway, hallway. 
lose my goddamn mind. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to leave. Uh, because this will probably fill with GPs, right? Most likely. I doubt we'll earn that much money, but thanks. Are you sleeping on the job, my dude? Oh, you can't promote until they're trained. Interesting. I feel like I knew that, but it's still good to know. What are you doing, Denise? She's like, for once, I can sit and rest. I don't know what to do with myself. <sighs> Here, Denise, have something to do. Does that cost me money? You'd think it would. Oh, yeah, it does. Training course completed. Well, he he literally came out to help Denise and then went back to what he was doing. What a good guy. Tiffany. Good girl. Nope, oh, that sounds weird. What a good friend. Coworker? But, yeah, you get you know what I'm trying to say. Ever <laughs> shut up now. Okay. Um Let's train our GP. See if we can get another one. In GP's Definitely not. Research isn't a terrible idea. No. Never mind. It is when those are options. Seven? Seems excessive, but. Okay. Luckily, it'll be over here where they can spend a bunch of money. Just move some of our entertainment on stuff over here. Hopefully, you're not tired, Dirk. Let me give you a little bit of a raise because you're about to be real tired. Just go right on in there, buddy. Uh, we need the money, so... Yeah, no. Next stall, I'll try to upgrade these since it's good to get them out of the way. You know what's nice? Not having freaking volcanic eruptions or earthquakes. I know I'm probably talking too soon, but, like, this is nice. A nice, just, inner-city hospital. I can do this all day. A fancy inner city hospital. I realized that we gotta like amp up our worth, but I also need to get marketing. Because I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, get reputation up. Hearing as many patients as you can, keeping people happy, and gaining publicity from special visitors and marketing. Yeah. We're gonna have to get marketing, I think. <clears throat> What's another one? Keeping people happy. Okay. Is there a thing in here? Does entertainment keep people happy? Keep stations safe, staff entertained. No. Increases hospital attractiveness and broom prestige. Huh. How do we increase, like, happiness? Not staff. Patient happiness. Hmm. It's like boredom, right? You gotta meet all f all of their needs to keep them happy. So thirst, food, toilet, boredom. So we need something for entertainment, I think. Um, I mean, we kind of already have some things, like this helps. We could throw one of these in. Right here in front of the staff room. Wonder if that'll screw anything up. Um, so far he's failed more than he succeeded. So that's that. GP's a little busy now because he was in training. That's okay, that's okay. 
getting up there. After we you get rid of the night fever guys, I think I'll do psychiatry training. That'll be good. Easy skin is level three. Drug mixer is going to be level three. We killed Bayesian, that's always good. Hey Denise, can you get that? Thanks. Ooh, expansion and treatment, huh? Sorry, Denise. I, I am always failing you. I know. I'm so sorry. Look at her. She's so upset. I'm sorry, Denise. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought she was puking. I was like, dear God. You read everything. Hey, we got through them. Wait, are you another one? No. Okay, there's one more. He cared too. Um, it's not exactly seven, but, you know, you win some, you boops a lot. <laughs> uh, we can do that training now. Uh, let's do our ward nurse's training. No. Diagnostic nurse's training? Sure. Should I be spending mon all of our money on training? Probably not. Am I going to anyway? Yeah. I think, though, that this is where we're going to end today's episode. I know we haven't really gotten that far, but the next few steps is getting some different, like, this This guy is not going to have treatment here, so we're going to have to expand out our treatment options. Um, look at hiring some different doctors a new gp maybe yeah just you know how we always do continue to build it out so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys back here next time